Hi, good morning. So uh, welcome to another video, another disused canal video. And today we're having a revisit. So I think this is my first revisit video. Um, we're coming to have another look at the Lady Lee Arm, the disused arm on the Chesterfield Canal just outside Works Up. So I did my last Lady Lee uh, video in August, I think it was the beginning of August. I was doing, making my way down the Chesterfield Canal towards Worksop when I came across that old bridge that didn't seem to go anywhere. There wasn't a massive amount uh, about this online so I thought I'd come down and check it out and see what we could find. I was looking for the old wharf uh, at the top end of the canal. So at the time when I published that video that was my, uh, that was my most, most popular video. So. Uh, yeah, it really seemed to pique some interest. I got a lot of uh, got a lot of followers from uh, people around Works Up. So, uh, welcome. I hope you're still with us. But that day, the problem that I had when I came is uh, obviously at the middle of the summer, I was just fighting a losing battle with vegetation. It was it was close to impossible to even make out that there was any sort of canal there. So I promised I'd come back in winter when things have died down a bit, um, which they have, and. Uh, and see if we can spot anything else, see if it's a little bit more open. So, straight away. So I've just walked down again, up from the A57, just parked, um, parked across from Sainsbury's. Um, very, very muddy though, that path. Very muddy today. But I'm in the, uh, I'm in the old Lady Lee disused canal arm, uh, canal bed now, just walking along. So, if I remember rightly, they were, there were weeds bigger than me down here back in August and as we can see we've got quite a distinctive quite a distinctive uh, canal shaped cutting now so it's New Year's Eve today happy new year it's probably well in the in the rear view mirror by the time I get around to putting this video on but I hope everyone's had a had a brought the you new year in the in the best possible way, it's New Year's Eve. Also happens to be uh, my birthday today, so what better way to, uh, to come and do a bit of an explore. Just try to remember the figures from uh, when I last did the video. I think three quarters of a mile long, I think, this little, uh, this little disused arm. It's still down there, got a bit of water in there, but I think we did have some water in there when we came last some sections so that day remember it well it was shorts and t-shirt and uh it wasn't just the vegetation and the stinging nettles that were uh, that were the problem that day it was also the insects and the flies i got quite badly bitten so we was out visiting some relatives a few days after i did that video and um my wrist had swollen up i had big marks on my leg big bites my arm was uh, had a huge lump on it and i went into the chemist and uh, the woman's drawer just jo dropped she actually told me to go to hospital the swelling was that bad but uh, she gave me some cream i went on my way and i was fine a few days later but the flies certainly had a decent meal out of me that day i'll make my way up to where the uh, where the wharf uh, where the wharf was it's just it's literally just only here around the corner Try and walk down the closer to the canal actually. It's a lot more open. It's unrecognisable this. And it is a bit it is a bit brighter today. We've got the got the sun coming through. I can see the wall at the start of the wharf where we climbed down in the darkness that day. I still don't think I can get down there though. I was hoping I might be able to actually walk down it but there's a hell of a lot more water in now this time of year as you'd expect obviously I'm trying to walk down the down the banking there's just sliding in sliding down the banking it's not it's not it's not firm going that's for sure so this is where we went down into the into the canal bed I'll, I'll try and get down there where I came down last time. So here we go. This is where we were stood. Get a lot closer today. So there's the old, there's the old, old um, wharf wall. 
could do with a bit of repointing. So that's looking back where we've just come from, in a direction ultimately towards the, the Chesterfield Canal. So I'm right inside that wharf now. I've got a lot further than, than I thought I would. The old tyre still there, see? Bit of tread on that. What a fit fit a Ford Fiesta. There's the other side. So we've still got, yeah, we've still got quite a bit of bit of treage. It's going to stop us getting any further that way, unfortunately. But it's great just to uh, get a bit closer to this uh, this wall side of this wall. I'm just underneath the ivy there. If I can excuse me. No, motion sickness. Camera waving about. Yeah, you can see the, the platform there amongst the ivy. That's the top. Just overhanging the wall there. And the other side now. back up here we'll see if we can see any more of that wall from up here now I can't uh, I can't really say it's any lighter when we uh, when we came in August fortunately still got this really thick tree canopies above here it's really well sheltered well actually you can see you can see that wall a lot better Next, there's, there's holes every kind of 10 feet or so. so what would they be? Yeah, I mean it's only it's only really 25 yards long. There we go, that's the reason why we can't walk down it. That's the end. Here's a view from the other side. I said 25 yards, it's probably not even 10 yards to be honest. So just past the end of the um just past the end of the wharf, the end of the canal, there was this uh, old building we can still see. We saw that on a map, so I'm not quite sure what it was. Probably worth mentioning as well at this point. There was a there was a tramway that met up near the end of the uh, near the end of the Lady Lee Arm that went further into the quarry. But um, yeah, I'm really not sure where that went. Yeah, I'd like to learn more about that. It's quite a fascinating little place. There's these little. I mean, it's another little cut in here. This wasn't a canal, but yeah, something's cut its way through. That's the, uh, the canal's just up there, about 50 yards in that direction. And that's going through to what's now a lake. And I'm assuming that would have been the main part of the quarry. Could that have been the line of that tramway, perhaps? I don't know. Great to, uh, great to learn more about this, if anybody knows anything else. But, uh, yeah, information seems to be really, really sparse on this place. Yeah, as you'd expect, you could definitely see more this time of year, so well worth the trip back. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to uh, if you're new to my videos. Um, hit that like button, and I'll uh, I'll see you soon on a, another video. So take care and uh, happy new year.